when you start hearing all the things, these, these, I'm like, oh, are you fucking shitting me, man? Yeah. Hey, man, that's what I'm saying. Hey, man, I'm going to go ahead and run a video while we're talking. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man, I didn't know that. Yeah, man, it, 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 it's 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 literally disgusting, man. Because on top of on top of uh, all that, man, you got you got black men being shot down in the streets every day. You got you got uh, our women being kidnapped and taken away every day, yeah. and not a word is mentioned. Yeah. And the moment the moment somebody speaks against that homosexuality, oh, yeah. which is vehemently spoken against in the scriptures, which we're supposed to be built on in God we trust, quote-unquote. The moment somebody speaks on that, their life is over. Right. Right. Yeah, man. You know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, man, that's a, that, that, that is a, what do you call it? Is that, that Proverbs 11 and uh, 22. Well, you, you, it's kind of, you can get 22 and 21, you know? I'm going to go ahead and pull that real quick. 22. Huh. Come on, bro. I can get it if you want me to. No, I got you. I got you. Yeah, so it said, let me, I'm going to pull it up here real fast. It says, though hand join in hand. So in the understanding of, of Babylon, uh, the understanding of, 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 of Esau and his wickedness, okay, they sing a different song, right? They sing a song that they say they free, right? They say that they free, you know? They proud devils, man. They want you to be, they want to be free in their wickedness. And they go to every nation. They go to all these nations, you know, so-called policing these nations, right? And making them change their ways, you know, like the so-called uh, Elamite. Elamite, uh, Ishmael, they don't like that homosexual stuff. Canaanites, they don't like that homosexual uh, mess. But that's getting over there, too, in um, Uganda, all of them in those countries over there in, uh, in Africa. Uh. So they want everybody to join hands with this mess, man. In America, which is that tender, delicate woman, that nobody want to, you know, push themselves upon and, 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 and destroy them. You know what I mean? Everybody is, you know, pretty much on the same page with America and the folly that they push. You know, lately, not so much, you know, because these nations want to turn on America. But, you know, you look at you look at America and you look at what they do and they go into these other nations pushing that homosexuality onto those countries, trying to make them, you know, come together, you know what I mean, in that understanding, that freedom, so to speak, right? And the scriptures say, don't hand join in hand, right? Uh, uh. Don't hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. I don't care how many songs y'all make, I don't care how many, how y'all, y'all, y'all you know, you look at Pharrell, that dude had on a dress, and he came out with yes. that song some years back, I'm happy, because I'm happy, right? You remember that song that he did? Yeah. Yeah. So everybody, oh, I'm happy and all this, that, and the other. And then you got, uh, 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 you know, b- pretty much the whole entertainment world, the movies and stuff. They push that homo homosexuality. You know what I mean? And they call it freedom, man. They call it free. You know. And then they join in hands with all these other nations that had that same understanding. And it says, uh. the wicked shall not go unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered, man. So those righteous men that speak righteous words, them the ones that's going to be delivered, you know? Uh. Them the ones that's going to be delivered. It says, though, it says, as a jewel of gold is in a swine's snout. So a lot of brothers think this is rest. They're going to find some type of rest in this free, you know what I mean, way of living and understanding. A lot of these brothers, when they start talking, bro, they seem real, they seem borderline you got to be feminine, bro, as a bl- brother in this system trying to make it, man. You got to be feminine uh, in some f- shape, form, or fashion, bro. And that's uh, a uh, I, 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 so, like, like, like me, me and my wife talk about this. When you watch ESPN, mm-hmm. 
when you watch uh FS1, mm-hmm. not one brother that has a job or a spot on ESPN or FS1 mm-hmm. has hair on their face. Damn. Not one, every last one of those brothers are bald, booty face, effeminate. Don't even and, and they they're perpetuating that for a purpose for a reason. Yeah. Yo, know, they're emasculating you. You want to get this money? We're gonna emasculate you. We don't need you to look like a man mm. because the black man with a beard on his face is what you call intimidated, intimidating to them. Hey man, that's straight thinking, man. They don't want nobody that's that has a clear mind, straight thinking, man. Obviously, hair is supposed to be on your face. You know what I mean? But huh. they want to make us children and women. So like it, go ahead, bro. Uh, no, I, I, that, I mean, that was my thought. I just, when you said it, it just brought it to my mind because I see it and I'm like, look at this, man. Mm-hmm. And look how you talking. Yep. You're talking feminine. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you ain't talking feminine, you're talking like a coon. Mm-hmm. You go one or two ways with that bald face. Okay. And, that, and, that's, and, that, and a brother, goes, bro, well, I got to get this money. I got to get paid. I got to do what I got. No. Yeah. No, come out of her. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I'm uh yeah, remember God guys, let me let me let me pull this precept. Uh Revelations. I'm a eighteen. I'ma just I'ma just start at uh three. Yeah. No, forget that, because they need we need to know what's going on. I'm gonna start at two. Go ahead. Uh and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen. It's fallen and has become a habitation of the devil and hold of and hold of every foul spirit. In a cage of every unclean, hateful bird. Verse 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication from fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Verse 4. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that you receive not of her plague. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, like it's telling you, you know, all the nations, like you said earlier, the East Indian, yeah. the Israelites, the, the Moabites, all of them have drunk of her wine, yeah. of fornication. You know, all her vain, uh, sick and vile philosophies. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to be a homosexual. It's okay to love on women. It's okay to be effeminate. It's okay for a woman to be masculine. A woman is equal to a man. Yeah. All this folly that go, that goes clearly against the scriptures is exactly what America is perpetuating, and every other nation and kingdom is partaking in the same iniquity that would never have partaken in iniquity. Yeah. I've literally pulled up to a Burger King window, and there was an effeminate, clear homosexual Asian young man working at the window, and I'm like, where the hell does this come from? You know what I'm saying? We, hey, 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 come here and be who you are, right? Mm-hmm. What the scriptures is telling our people, the Israelites, Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, come out of her. Mm-hmm. So you do not partake in her plagues. It's coming, man. Yeah, hey, I got precept, man. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 12, or verse 11. It says, Discretion shall preserve thee understanding shall keep thee to deliver thee from the way of the evil man from the man that speaketh forward things man is no <laughs> understanding in every way of life that the so called white man has established man no understanding behind it all right all right the way that we get to work you know what i mean the the uh you know and, and let's just stay on on topic the homosexuality you cannot Reproduce, you know what I mean. Uh-huh. That is a wicked thing, man. There's no understanding. It's a forward thing, man. You know that's a forward thing. Let's look. Let, you know, let's go ahead and look it up. Willfully contrary, <laughs> not easily <laughs> managed. Come on, man. This is the so-called white man's. That's how he gets down, man. Willfully contrary. Right? Willfully uh. willfully contrary, man. You know? And, 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 and that's the issue. 
So uh. what 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 is it that we what is it that we sitting here going on and on down it further into the grave over the so called white man, man? When we with the so called white man. Going further and further into the grave, it says, uh follow, you know, we becoming profane like Esau more and more. It says to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things, who leave the paths uh, who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked. You see that? So we got brothers uh-huh. that's leaving the way of righteous to walk in the ways of darkness, who receive or who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked. You know. And that's that's the issues. That's the things that our people fail to realize, man. You know. And when we hear this this word, it doesn't do nothing for their understanding, man. Because what they become very uh, beastly in their in their understanding. And let's go ahead and get that wisdom of Solomon. And I'm gonna let you have it. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter one, verse three. It says, "For forward thoughts separate from Yahweh, and His power, when it is tried, reproveth the unwise, man." So that power that the Lord has, he's going to say that again. No, I say nothing. Okay, that power is going to reprove the unwise. It says, "For into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject to sin." Meaning, that's the first. That's your first mind is to do sin, do wickedness. Okay, malicious means that you have you have hatred in your heart for your own people. You have hatred in your heart. From hearing wisdom and understanding, right? And what uh, Proverbs chapter two verse three it says, "Yeah, if thou criest after knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding, and thou seek her as silver and searchest her, searchest her, searchest her, uh, searchest for her as for hid treasure, then shalt the understanding, uh, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord, and find the knowledge of Yahweh." And Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13 says, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and ev- and the evil way, and the froward mouth do I hate. You see that? That's talking about the wickedness that comes from the mouth of the, of the, uh, of the so-called white man. And he's pushing that, that mess, man, that, that the evil that comes from, out of the so-called white man, he pushes it, and Jake eats it up, man. Uh-huh. Jake eats it up, and Jake don't wanna, don't wanna get silver. I mean, don't Jake don't wanna get wisdom as he seek for silver, man. He don't wanna get knowledge, uh-huh. you know. Uh, 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 uh it's, it's crazy you said that. I got a few precepts on that. Okay. Uh, I was just, I was just looking into. Uh, all right, let me. I'm on Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, I want to I want to run eight real quick. Ecclesiastes four and eight real fast, and I want to jump down. Uh, if thou seest the oppression of the poor, and the violent perverting of judgment, and justice in a in a province, marvel not at the matter, for he that higher than the highest regarded, mm-hmm. and there be higher than they. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like that's going into you know what we see already. We see, you know, the oppression of us. And the perverting of the judgment with the oppressed, you know, they pervert our, they pervert the judgment. Our own people do that, you know, for 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 silver and riches, you know, we 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 instead of us being righteous in our judgment, instead of a person like Dwayne Wade having righteous judgment to his own son and saying, "Hey, nah, that's you going off, son. I'm not accepting that," you know, instead, you know, he perverts his judgment. You know what I'm saying? And because he wants, he wants to, he wants to be flattering, flattered, or flattering to to the to the white man. Mm-hmm. He wants to be accepted by the white man. You know what I'm saying? He don't want, you know, the opportunities of GQ magazine being taken away from his Gatorade commercials being taken away from. Him, you know, mm-hmm. so instead he perverts judgment. But we won't marvel at the matter because the higher than high, who is the most high, he 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 is he he regarded it. He know what's gonna go on. He's gonna he's gonna take care of that in the end of the day. Then moreover to say, he goes to say, uh, 
I'm going to jump down to 10. He that loveth silver shall not be satisfied with silver. Nor he that loveth abundance with increase. This is also vanity. You know, it's, it's, it's emptiness. You love silver. You know, hey, but you'll never be satisfied. And that's why you, that's what's exactly what you see with these brothers that have great gain. They still have no satisfaction. Because it's, it's nothing but emptiness in it. There's nothing there. Right? And then I'm going to jump down. I'm going to go to uh, Ecclesiastes 6. And I'm going to start at 2. It is better to go into the house of mourning than to go into the house of feasting. For that is the, the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow, verse 3, sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of countenance, the heart is made better. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That goes into what we were discussing earlier. Right? We want to, they want to uh, conform. Yeah. And, 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 and instead of, instead of mourning at what's going on and mourning at our oppression mm -hmm. and our punishment and our captivity, they want to conform and they want to have laughter in it. You know, Jake want to get high. Jake want to get drunk. Jake want to do everything to conform to this wicked-ass kingdom. And it tells you it's better to mourn. Mourning is what's going to make you come to your father, cry to your father for salvation. When you have laughter, you're not crying to your father for salvation. Exactly. It's, it's off, right? And then it goes on to say, the heart of the wise in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. That's right. Verse 5, it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the songs of fools. Come on. Verse 6, for as the crackling of the thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of a fool. This is also vanity. Last one, surely oppression make a wise man mad and a gift destroys the heart. Like that, that's 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 exactly what's going on. That's exactly what's going on. Oh man, you know, you know they they are giving this money out. You know what I'm saying? The, the white man is good. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't really agree with the homosexuality. I don't really agree with with this, that, and the other. But you know, they gonna cut me that check, so it's all good. It's all good. Destroying the heart. love to eat this stuff up because like you said man they get paid for they get paid from their oppressors as far as they concerned they don't look at Hosea chapter 2 uh, as it goes on from chapter from verse 5 in Hosea chapter 2 uh, down from verse 5 how the Lord is the one who gave us our bread our wine our flax you know what I mean he's the uh. one he controls the hearts and mind of men he even can have the, the wicked to be at peace with you man in some ways but the Jake, they get it twisted, man. They getting comfortable out here, and you know you was going on about about uh, you know these fools and the things that okay, the folly. It's one thing to see them doing it, but they speak it too, man, with a proud tongue, man. Uh -huh. They speak it, and that's why I wanted to go to Psalms chapter twelve. It said verse in verse two, it says they speak vanity. Everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips, and with a double heart do they speak. That's right. Every man with his neighbor, with flattering lips, you know. Oh, you know, I'm cool. They, they're, they, they liberal in their understanding, like it says in Proverbs chapter 12. I mean, uh, yeah, chapter 11. Lost me. Chapter 11, verse 20. Let me see. Yeah, it says in verse 25, it says, The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that waters shall be watered also. Nah, that's not the one I'm looking for. What's the one where it says, uh, the sure? Let me see. The wicked man shall not be called liberal. What, where is that one at? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Hold on. 
I, I get it. Hold on. All right. Well, let me go ahead and finish with this song. He said, the wicked man, he said the wicked man shall not be. Uh, the liberal man shall, uh, shall be called sure or the or the, uh, the sure old man shall not be called liberal. The sure old man shall not be called liberal. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It says so. It says in Psalms twelve and uh, t- uh, and two, they speak vanity. Everyone with his neighbor with flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak? You know, they 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 wouldn't let their sons do it. Like you said, you said, yeah, man. You know, I don't agree with the homosexuality, but uh, you know, to each his own. Well, guess what? Jake is being destroyed the most from that man because. Really, the so-called white man wasn't given the laws. He just wicked. He was meant to be wicked. That's why he was a, a base man. That's why they chased him off, you know, back in the times when we used to rule. You know what I mean? They chased him off, ran him off, you know? Uh. But now these are base men are over us, and they turn the things upside down. So, uh, Proverbs chapter, uh, I know, I think that's Isaiah. I think it's Isaiah. Let me see. I'm in Isaiah. Uh, that, uh, uh, is, is, this what you, is this what you was looking for? Uh, Go ahead. Isaiah 32 and 5. The vile person shall not shall be no more called liberal, mm-hmm. nor the sure said to be bountiful. That's right. <laughs> you know, they want to talk like they oppressors, man. And, and, uh. and they say, oh, Austin and, uh, 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 you know, they talk about all these, you know, liberal states, man. Basically free, free to be all types of wicked and crazy, right? You know, and that's our people. They in that liberal mindset, man. And when it comes to our, uh, you know, our our payback to our revenge, to our reparations, we don't even talk about it. We don't care about it because we believe that the so-called, like you brought up about uh, being, receiving a gift. We receiving these gifts from these, from these liberal people, man, and we get it twisted, you know? We don't have, we don't care nothing about wisdom. We don't care about nothing about counsel. We don't ca- care nothing about the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High God, man. We don't care about uh, being discreet and being uh, keeping discretion, man. You know what I mean? That's why we all out in the open commi- commit all types of fornication and wickedness and folly. So it says, in verse, uh, so yeah, that's how our people speak. Once with his neighbor, think about the next. You know the next folly to to enjoy because listen, you know how you you know when when a brother will understand and start talking, bro, it's gonna be a hey, you know everybody gonna get quiet. People gonna start thinking all types of different things, man. You got some people that might accept it. You got some people that's gonna be on the fence, and then you got some uh people that's gonna be like, man, this nigga, you know, they probably ain't gonna be quiet. They'll be running their mouth, saying everything that comes to their mind. You know what I mean? So, so they speaking one to another about folly and madness, man, flattering with their lips and having a double heart. You know, in verse three, it says the Lord shall cut off the flattering lips, the tongue that speaketh proud things. That's going to be the so-called white man going to be the chiefest of them that's going to get cut off. And then finally, our people going to receive wisdom, man, when the scorner is smitten. Then it says, who, sh- who, who have said with their tongue, we will prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? You see? And that's how our people are. Profane like the wicked. Profane like Esau, man. You know? Sitting in, uh, settled on our leaves. You know, thinking that we, we, you know, that we sitting here making some, some, uh, making moves. You know, we making moves to, you know, become one with the, with, with Esau, man. You, we, we making moves to, to, uh, you know, basically flee from, you know, the, the hood and, you know, and, and poverty. Well, the Lord going to save those same ones that are still there, man. The same ones who are crying out. The same ones who's mourning. It says uh. in verse 5, For the oppression of the poor, for the, sighting of, for the sighing of the needy, now will I arise, saith the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. You see? They puffeth at us with their homosexuality. They puff at us with, uh, uh, you know, defiling uh, our ways of understanding concerning the Sabbath. You know what I mean? They puff at us and dare us with all the folly and, and madness that goes on with our people. Right? The way that our women are whored out, man. They puff at us about the, concerning those things. Hey, you got to send your kids to school. You got to send your, your kids over here with me. And I'm going to teach your kid how to think. I'm going to teach, I'm, I'm teach your kid 
to uh to to follow in my ways in my understanding that's what the so-called white man is he puff at you in those in in that respect man he puffing at the, the poor righteous man it's so, God. yeah go ahead our, our own people puff at us in, for those manners you know mm-hmm. how many times when we when we let people know you know that we homeschool our daughter yeah. oh that she needs to go to school and be around other kids and Come on. you know so, 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 man, look here man yeah. I don't, 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 you know, I'm not sending my child to, to be to be robbed of what we get the little we've given her. Tell her to have her clothing ripped off of her. Come on, she's gonna keep her garments on. That's right. Cause that's all. That's you. That's why they want us to send our schools, our kids to those schools, so you can take her, so you can take all her garments off of her, Damn. and you can put your filthy ass clothes on her. Come on, I mean, it, it ain't it, tell her nothing but lies for twelve years. My 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 my, my, my God brother just told me that his little his little his little, his little cousin mm-hmm. came and told him that the white man is better than us. Who Where do you think that? he learned that from? My my God brother's little cousin. Oh man. Where do you think he learned that from? Come on. No he ain't he ain't learning at home around his own people. Mm-hmm. But, go, but go ahead, I go ahead and finish your, uh, your precept. Yeah, man, they trying to tear off that garment of, of those we, we, our kids, man. You know, it's, it's like they, they in the slaughter, man. You know, uh-uh. and we send them there proud, happy. You know what I mean? So it says the words of the Lord are pure words. You see there? So that's that's the thing. That's the why people gonna write you off, like it says in Luke chapter six, man. And I'm I'm gonna pull up real quick. Luke chapter six. says blessed in verse 20 Luke chapter 6 verse 20 and he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said blessed be ye poor for yours is the kingdom of Yahweh blessed are ye that hunger now for ye shall be filled blessed are ye that weep for now for ye shall laugh so that's when we're gonna be laughing man oh praise you know that's when we're gonna be laughing like you was touching on about the uh the the, the, the fool and, and, and he's in mirth, you know what I mean? I'm afraid. It says, blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall re- reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. And like we was talking about off the video about uh, b- people who spoke out, particularly uh, Israelite people, you know, who spoke against homosexuality, right? And then those that didn't, you know, the, the so-called white man blessed them. You know, the so-called uh. white man blesses them here in this system. But the men that did speak up, and then some of them, they reneged. Oh, well, you know, I was just that's tripping. That's what Kevin Hart did. Yeah, that's what Kevin Hart did to get back up. You know, he bowed down to them, you know. Uh. And, and, and he didn't stop and think like, damn, why is this so heavy? You know what I mean? Why is that spirit so heavy to, to, to defend folly and madness man he didn't say why is it so heavy to the point where i can't have my own opinion i can't even speak out man is this really living you know uh, exactly so he exactly. got back in line man so it says the words of the lord are pure words man and and purity is not of the so-called white man that's nothing that's in the mind of the so-called white man like it says in uh psalms chapter 10 you know these that that understanding is not in the so-called white man Purity, words of purity. It says, "A si- as silver tried in the furnace of the earth, I mean of earth, purified seven times." That's why the words that the Lord gives to His men, it cuts even the bone and the marrow. Man, they can't deal with it. it. There's understanding behind the laws that we follow, man. You know, pork will destroy you, man. Right? Pork will destroy you. Uh, uh, shrimp, lobster, crab. You know. You going after another person's woman, you know, Proverbs chapter, what, six? Speaks very detailed about that. You going after uh-huh. another man's woman, you know, uh, uh, and so on and so forth, man. A lot of these things is for our good. That's why we got to keep that, man. And it says, thou shalt, it says, thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever, which is the words, the pure words, and that's what he's continuously putting these words in the mouths 
of the daughter of Israel, which is us in this last days. It says the wicked walk on every side when the vilest man, men are exalted. The vilest men are exalted. Columbus, like he was talking about as well. You know what uh. I mean? Uh, uh, you know, what is that with all the faces of the, of the so-called white men, the conquerors and the presidents? Oh, uh, what is this? What is Mount, it? Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore, that's right. You know, those people are exalted. The so-called white man is delivered from his, uh, from his, uh, you know, his, uh, ju judgment every day, man, just by the conversation of our people, the, the, the filthy conversation of our own people, man. That's why they don't get it. That's why they want to put you out of their conversation, man. That's why they don't want to hear nothing from you. That's why they don't want you around at the family gatherings, right? You know, uh, but the Lord said He's gonna try to raise, man. Uh, uh let me. Uh, I got a precept. Go ahead, brother. Uh, Psalm seventy-three, and uh, start at six. Uh. Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain; violence covers them as a garment. Mm. Yeah, you know that's deep. That's right. That's deep. Uh, verse 7. Their eyes stand out with fatness. Mm. They have more than the heart could wish. Mm. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. Mm. They speak loftily. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is going into to, to, to these, these devils, but it's also going into our own people that seek these riches. Mm. Right? Oh. You know, their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than their heart could wish as far as what they think, they, what the, from what their understanding can, can uh, give them, right? They think to themselves, man, I came so far. You know, like a brother like Kevin Hart, man, I came from a one-bedroom apartment in North Philadelphia. You know, I wasn't supposed to be here. You know, you hear LeBron say crap like that all the time. Just a kid from Akron, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and I have way more than what my heart could ever wish for, you know? But then they speak loftily concerning, concerning oppression because – when you when you bring when you bring up you know what's going on with your with their people you know it becomes in their mind well I made it out so why can't they make it out yep. you know I did this you know why can't I do you know I may have had to you know bend my morals but I still made it out you a coon like Stephen A Smith is a key example of that come on yeah that's right is a key example of that mm -hmm. you know he speaks lawfully concerning oppression yep. you know Colin Kaepernick may not be in the truth. But he's but he but he speaks high he speaks about oppression of our people, yeah. and he stands firm on that thing. Yeah. And a, and a cool like Stephen A. Smith, he 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 fires shots at Colin Kaepernick for the things he does. But he speaks loudly because well you know if you if if you want a job then you got to conform to what the job wants you to do. Yeah. And then they that's law him. speaking loudly concerning oppression uh, concerning our oppression. Yeah. And then they tell him. Nah, him. yeah. Go ahead. Salaki, man, they tell us, hey, you know, like you said, conform to, conform to the job, and then those same people will be like, well, create one. That's right, man. They puff at us with that, our own people. Then go ahead and create one. And they ain't even got one, bro. Like, like you know, they ain't even got their own business. Because they feel like, same, well, I, I can take it, you know? Same thing, like, he, he, Stephen A. Smith got the nerve to, oh, you want to talk about this and that, and you not even going to vote? No, we ain't going to vote. Like it's an abomination not to vote, man. <laughs> Come on, man. That's exactly how he tried to treat the brother. I was with him until he, he talked about he don't vote. He don't publicly say he don't vote. Like, what? Vote for one or two devils? Yeah. That's that spirit, man, that they got, man. It's wicked, man. Yeah, let me, uh, I got another uh, I want to bring out. Let me get, because this, this goes into, this goes into our people, man. What's going on? You know, most I speak on this, uh, go to Isaiah 30. I'm going to start at the top. Woe to the rebellious children mm. that say of the Lord that take counsel, but not of me, and cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, mm. that they may add sin to sin. See, these, 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 these jakes, man, they covered. You know, they got their money. They covered. But they covered with the, with the, uh, the profaneness of Esau. Mm. They're not, they not covered. With the Most High's covering, mm. they take counseling, but they're not taking counseling of the Most High. They're not taking counsel of what's in these scriptures. You know, the mm. counsel they're getting is from their financial advisor. Mm. 
who's Esau. <laughs> right, man. And everybody. The financial advisors and the publicists is telling them, hey, man, well, you can't say that. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got to go, hey, Kevin Hart, you got to go in there. And it's on his documentary. You got to apologize, even when he didn't want to. Come on. Hey, that's that. That's he didn't that want to. He's like, man, I already said what I had to say. You know, I don't want to talk. She, the, the, the Edomite, the Shedomite. Yeah. No, you got to, you know, he taking counsel. But he ain't taking counsel of the most high. Come on. He ain't going into the scriptures and saying, man, hey, look, I believe in the most high God. And it says it right here in this book. It's an abomination. I ain't with it. I ain't gonna ever tell my son to be part of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh. But no, they want to take they want to take counseling uh, from, from 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 the from more profane man on the on the planet of the earth. The most the 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 the, 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 the worst kind of fornicator on the planet of earth. The ones that love bestiality. Soon you ain't gonna be able to speak against that. A man should be able to love what it wants, not what who he wants to love, what it wants, what whatever he wants to love. That's what it's gonna turn into. <laughs> Soon you ain't gonna be able to speak against pedophilia. The so-called white man is a devil, bro. They probably gonna be, like, hey man, inanimate objects, objects that don't even move, man. You know, they, uh, hey man, this woman, I think I seen this woman like married a tree, man. I'm not even lying to you. Uh, bro, I would not doubt it, bro. <laughs> you know, it's a evil. I was just showing, I was just showing Chastity because I had, I, we were watching uh that show Atlanta. We watched uh, uh, yeah, that show Atlanta. Yeah, that's on. my show, bro. I love that show. I watched that show so many times over and over. We were watching uh, Hulu earlier, and uh, it was the one with Cat Williams where he had the yeah. alligator. Yeah. <laughs> it's and, called Alligator and Man. And telling, yeah, and I was telling Chastity, I was like, I was like, hey, people really be having alligators. She's like, you don't have alligators in this place. I was like, look. So I go on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You see this white woman, she hugging on the alligator, painting the alligator's nails. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Loving the alligator. And you know what she's doing with the alligator at nighttime. Come on, bro. You can already expect it, man. You know what she's doing with the alligator at night, oh, uh, nighttime. Man, that's disgusting, bro. Disgusting. A swamp animal. Mm-hmm. A swamp animal. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a serpent, man. Yeah, yeah. That's a snake. Profane like Esau, you want to you want to take their their counsel and their covering. They speak their words. That's right. That's right. Base man of the earth. Come on. That's disgusting, bro. Hey, I got one. Psalms chapter sixty-two, verse uh, four. It says, "They consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. They hmm. bless with their mouth." They, it says, but they curse inwardly. You see? They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. God bless America, right? You know? They say that they a Christian nation once upon a time, right? You know? Uh. They say they bless with their with they mouth, right? It says they delight in lies. So-called, they say Christ is a white man. That's, that's what they say the Savior is. Then they say, look at all these movies that's popping up lately, all on YouTube and whatnot. About these Middle East looking, these Elamite looking uh Christ now. That now they, they don't wanna they don't wanna say that, that Christ is white now. Now they wanna say they wanna say everything else but who he truly is, a so called black uh, man, man. Or the uh, depiction of what they would call a so called black man. But he had the spirit of a so called black man. He said he's speaking words, dark sayings, man. It says, uh my soul, verse 5, my soul, wait thou only upon Yahweh, for my expectation is from him. So your expectation is not to, is not supposed to be to sit here and conform, get the laughing and hee hawing about everything that come your way. You know what I mean? You know, you're not supposed to be trying to go for the, the jewel that's in the snout of a pig, right? Like it says in Proverbs. You know, chapter 11, verse 21. You're not uh. supposed to go after that delicate woman that's like a jewel in the snout of a, of a swine. Because that's what the so-called white man, his way of living is like. It's like a jewel in the nose of, 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 a, of a damn swine, man. That's what the, you pick up this way of living, man. The counsel of the so-called white man all the way up to the, to the dainties of the so-called white man here in this system of oppression where nothing is natural and good, right? 
there ain't nothing ain't nothing worth it, man. The women are all whored out. You know what I mean? Uh. Got a bunch of makeup on and probably look like monsters under there. You know what I mean? Uh. That's that that's what this system has to offer you when you sit here and and and, and, and really try to get to that position. You know what I mean? Like Kevin Hart. You know, he rather he rather go ahead and I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. You know what I mean? Than to just stand on his own too. Uh. You know? Uh, like as if as if he don't ha- he doesn't have enough to live. Con, I, so I what? Tip of my tongue, yeah. so, so what if they if they take your endorsements away? Mm. So what if you can't host the Oscars? Mm. What's that worth to you? That's right. So what happens now when your son decides to be feminine? Mm. Because you took those words back and you accepted and you and, and you and you basically saying that you do accept that you were just young. Mm. So what happens now when he comes home and says, "Daddy, I want to be a girl." Mm. What happens now? Because you don't even really feel that way. That's right. You don't really feel that way. And now, now, but you put it out there, you feel that way because you want things. That's right. Right? And then you got the nerve to come out, you know, after your car accident and talk about how you, how you have, how you love God. Mm. And how, how, how you grateful to God and how it's not, you know, well, you ain't showing it. Yeah. That was, uh, uh, precept, uh, Titus, uh, one, and I'm gonna start at uh. Hey, that's crazy that you said that, man. In verse four, I'm, it still say that you know they bless with their mouth, man. It's like I thank God, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna start at I'm gonna start at I'm gonna start at one. I'm gonna start at uh, fifteen. I'm gonna fifteen to sixteen. Go ahead, Until the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled. Mm. And unbelieving mm-hmm. is nothing pure, That's right. but even their mind is conscious. Even their mind and conscious is the fire. Yeah. Verse sixteen: They profess that they know God, mm-hmm. but in works they deny Him, right. being abominable and disobedient, mm-hmm. and unto every good work reprobate. That's right. So that's that's exactly what we're talking about, right? He professes that he know God. Yeah, I know God. You know, I love God. Thank you, God. All of this is because of God, right? Mm-hmm. But in works, you're denying Him. That's right. You ain't standing up for the gospel. You ain't contending for the faith. Mm-hmm. You know, that's you, right. you you conform it. That's right. That's that that's that's that in every in every work that's being a reprobate. That's right. It's disgusting. That's right, man. You know what I'm saying? And and and, our, and all our brothers and sisters. They see the bells and the whistles, you know. Uh-huh. He got, you know, he's riding around in a Sprinter, you know. He's got, he got the money for this. He got a private jet. He got this, that, and the other. So, so all you hear Jay says, man, he got to get his money. Come on. So I, 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 I would do the same thing if I had to get my money. The filthy conversation. I had a chance. The filthy conversation of the whistle. Huh? That's right. Huh? No doubt, man. No doubt. No doubt. It says in uh, Psalm sixty-two. Uh, in verse five, it says, "My soul will wait upon, upon my soul. My soul wait, thou only upon Yahweh, for my expectation is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. And Yahweh is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength, and my refuge is in Yahweh." So let me jump down to verse 10. It says, trust not in oppression. All right. So that's why I was giving you the context, you know, because Jake uh-huh. didn't get the context of what this, what is being spoken of, because you're taking everything else over your hour, man, in his uh-huh. word, in discretion and wisdom and counsel, you know. It says, trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery. Uh-huh. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them, you know. If riches increase, don't set your heart up on those things, man. And that's what that's what Kevin Hart did, and that's what a lot of Jakes. So we're not separate from from brothers who make more money than us, you know. Nope. So because because brothers with forty thousand, you know what I mean? They believe, you know, brothers in the hood and look up and look look to them, be like, man, they doing it so right. They doing it. Yep. They doing it big. I want to get to that. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go to school. Yep. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. I'm gonna make my forty thousand dollars. You know. 
and Jay, really, we not separate from each other, man. We have the same understanding in this system, you know what I mean? Lest we learn and, and, and turn to the most high, you know what I mean? Lest we understand that we won't be like everybody else. But that's how Jake is. That's, you know, we are in straits, man. It's only a few directions that we can go, man. And and what, what do we usually do? We we set our heart on, on, on riches, man, you know, because we ain't had it. So when we get it, man, Jake, man, <laughs> You know, Jake is like a, you know, he feel like he a god, man. Mm. You know, I mean, it, it, even even like you say, Jake at a lower level. You know, like I try to talk to to my bro, to you know, my boy all the time. I try to tell him, you know, you, you get caught up on wanting to have things, right. you know, and, and and you forget to to keep the ordinances and the commands of the Most High. You know, Jake Jake don't gotta work on the Sabbath, but Jake want to pick up some overtime. You know, Jake, Jake, man, you know, I, you know, I'm trying to, you know, put, a, I'm trying to build a nest egg, man. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this chip on on Saturday. Mm. You know, just because Jake want to have things, like you said, never had it, ne- don't have it, never have it. So it's like, what I gotta do to make sure I have things, man? Yeah, yeah, I really ain't gotta work, but man, you know, that's they talking about an extra four hundred dollars. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And boom, Jake wanted to file himself over a couple of dollars. says in uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2 verse 7 it says for the spirit of the Lord filleth the, the world and that which containeth all things hath knowledge of the voice therefore he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid neither shall vengeance when it punisheth Passed by him. See that? You know, therefore, you know, you gotta look at your look at the things that you're saying. Examine yourself. See if you be in the faith. You know? You can't be speaking unrighteous things. You can't be speaking things that don't have nothing to do with judgment. You know what I mean? Righteousness. You know what I mean? Concerning the law. You know, justice concerning the law. You know what I mean? You you know, Jake running around here murdering and killing uh the hey, in, in in Baltimore, this woman, this black this well this 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 Jake, she had a uh a beauty supply store and like a spa as well, you know, where women get their hair, you know, done and whatnot. The beauty, the beauty shop, right? And yeah. these Jake, these men, they go in there and kill her and take three thousand dollars worth of hair, bro. And and, and 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 we supposed to speak on these things, man, with righteousness, man, with judgment. And I said, I said, man, look, if we was in our kingdom, we would have, we would have destroyed that man. We would just, we didn't, we wouldn't be dealing with that man. Uh. You know, that man would be put to death. Simple as that. You know, uh. we didn't have, we wouldn't have such things happening. And, and 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 what does the scripture say? Your enemy will be first. Wherever there's adversity, and you know there's adversity, you know, in uh, you know. All through the hood in our habitation, you know what I mean. There's all types of adver- there's all t- types of adversity for us to deal with day in and day out. But the scriptures say, wherever there's adversity, your enemy shall be there first. So who is that? The so-called white man established that man. He established that way of thinking through his deception, man. So we gotta have the right words, let alone uh, uh concerning homosexuality and every other uh foul thing that the so-called white man uh, uh, puts into our minds, man. The, 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 the conduct of the so-called white man. We got to have righteous judgment. We got to speak righteously concerning those things. So it says, uh. therefore, he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid, neither shall vengeance when it punisheth pass by him. It says, for inquisition, inquiry, okay, inquiring, for inquisition shall be made into the counsels of the ungodly and the sound of his words shall come unto the Lord for the manifestation of his wicked deeds. That's right. You know, they speak wickedly concerning our oppression. Hey, the Lord, hey, we hear it. These men understand and the poor righteous man, we hear these things, man. And we take it before the Lord. You know what I mean? We take it before uh. the Lord. And, and, and it's not going to, hey, we're going to, the Lord is going to thoroughly plead our cause, man, concerning these things, man. You know, we're not supposed to try to get stronger. Oh, well, you know, man, I, 
you know, I just I just rise above the the occasion. I all these stupid words that we speak, and we're not even thinking about the fact that we need the Lord to deal with these things. We need payback. You're not supposed to be insensitive to the even the most minute injustice, uh, uh, act of injustice to your people when you hear about it. When you hear about you know somebody being denied uh, or or refused something in the establishment of the wicked. You know what I mean? Even though, you know, uh, uh, you know, your poor right, your poor people are denied basic necessity. Right. You know, basically being able to shop, being able to eat all these types of things. When you hear about those things, you're not supposed to start speaking wickedly, wickedly like your uh, oppressors. Well, you know, niggas is, you know, hey, you know, just niggas don't know how to act. No, because it don't matter. It didn't matter before when we weren't running around here sagging and, and smoking and drinking 40s. We wasn't doing that before. They killed us. They 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 did more treacherous things to us. Uh. It was more. They were more treacherous in their behavior before we became what they manufactured in us, which is this this behavior that we have today. This wall star hip hop behavior. Okay, before we had that type of behavior, they dealt tre- even more treacherously with us, man. They killed babies, man. Babies don't can't do nothing. Uh, you know, the wicked flee when no man pursues. So they killing our children. Why? Because they don't want us to. They don't want us to reign, man. You know, they want to uh, take out. They want to take out Christ, just like King Herod. You know, when the wise men played them, what happened? Oh man, they. You know, they, 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 something must have got to them. You know what I mean? Something must have got to their understanding that they they can you know betray me like this, man. I got I gotta kill that kid, and that, that'll take care of it. All right, y'all go kill all them Israelites down there. You know. Yeah. All the babies, they running, man. They scared, man. So yeah, so it says, so we gotta speak righteously concerning these things and the deeds that the so-called white man do. The Lord gonna, the Lord gonna make good on His word concerning uh, the their judgment, man. You know, it says, and the sounds of His word shall come unto the Lord. The Lord hear all that, and He need all that. He gonna, he, he taking all of that, man. In verse ten, it says, for the ear of the jealous. It says, for the ear of jealousy. Heareth all things. And we know what he's talking about. He's talking about the most high. The ear of jealousy heareth all things. And the noise of murmurings is not hid. So our people sitting up here talking about brothers out there pushing his word. Brothers out there, you know, basically upholding righteousness and judgment like Stephen A. Smith uh, concerning our oppression when it's when it's uh, talked about. You know, he want to put some words uh, uh, some words on the counsel of the Lord, man. That's a pure thing to talk about justice for the poor and needy, man. That's a pure uh. thing to speak on. And what the so-called uh black man who hate despise who despises dominion, because that's what the scriptures say. When you start speaking wickedness and folly as an Israelite, you despise dominion because the Lord want to bring that to you, man. Uh. He want to bring you things that no man has even thought of, man. He wants you to experience. Why things, you know what I mean? You know, he's gonna <clears throat> overflow us, man. Press down great, great things, unimaginable, man. Changed in the blink, blink in the twinkling of an eye, man. That's what the scripture speaks on, man. And, and we despise that, that dominion. We get embarrassed when our brothers out there speaking bold concerning uh, the judgment that we seek for, the expectation that we seek for. You know, you got brothers that actually get get embarrassed. Like, oh man, why are they talking like that? You know, huh? Huh? You ain't lying. You got that. That's disgusting, man. Yeah. That's disgusting, man. That's right. That's right. Oh man, brother. You know that was in the past. We need to let that go, brother. Come on. We need to let that go. As if we're not getting shot in these streets every day right now. Every day. As if we're not oppressed right now. It, 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 it's it's disturbing and it's disgusting. That's right. And every last and that's why I say you know no hands on the hand. Yeah. Come Wicked would not go unpunished. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey man, you are gonna be thrust through. And I ain't got no problem with it. I pray I'm one of the people that get to thrust you through. Come you know what I'm saying? Because the man, look, man. I, 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 man, a cool like Stephen A. Smith, Stephen A. Smith, man, really, really takes my, really vexes my spirit on another level. I like, mm. like, I mean, I, uh, 
I remember I was watching uh, first take maybe about a month ago, and it was over. I don't know if you knew about uh, the the NFL had set up a uh, set up a um a so called workout for Colin Kaepernick. Did you did you hear about that? No. So the NFL contacts Colin Kaepernick's representatives on a Wednesday and tells them that they're setting up a workout and he has to be there on Saturday, which that's already unprecedented because usually you give people a time, more time, things of that nature. And usually most workouts are, are set on, on Tuesdays for the NFL. That's when, you know, most football teams are, are like, you know, they played Sunday, they have their meeting on Monday and Tuesday, they usually rest. Mm-hmm. So that means, you know, all the football representatives would be able to be there. You know, Saturday is usually a college football game day. So most NFL scouts and things of that nature go scout college talent. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And if they're not doing that, they're preparing for Sunday games. You see what I'm saying? So it's already it already seems whack. If you, you know what I'm saying? Best way to say it. You know, it already seems whack in itself. Mm-hmm. And they told Colin, he asked his, his representatives, asked, hey, well, can we, you know, move it to about a week out? They're like, no, take it or leave it. So Colin was like, all right, you know, I guess I'll take it. So they wait until the day the day before, and they fax over the waiver that he needs to sign. Right. And in the waiver, the language is different than a standard waiver. So his, his representatives advise him, don't sign that waiver. Okay. You know, that waiver is going to put you in, you know, in, in, in jeopardy. Don't sign that waiver. So Colin, you know, his representative reach out and say, hey, we're not signing this waiver. Is there, you know, another way, you know, another waiver? And they were like, no, you know, sign that waiver or, or not. So Colin canceled the workout. Like, nah, I'm not going not gonna to do it. You know, I'm not signing that waiver, so I'm not going to do it. And he ends up holding his own workout that same Saturday at a high school stadium. Yeah. Right? So Stephen A. Smith, and it's crazy. I was in Atlanta at this time. I was in Atlanta at this time visiting my grandmother and literally – the night before this happens, I'm having a, I'm arguing with my cousin and his best friend about how Stephen A. Smith is a coon. And they're both like, no, nah, he's not a coon, this, that, and the other. And I'm like, man, dude is a coon. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, the next morning, my cousin calls me, and he's like, I'm in my hotel room. He's like, bro, Stephen A. Smith is a coon. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I'm sorry. He literally apologized to me. I just want to say I'm sorry. Yeah about how it was going hard the other night. And he's a cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I had got the the, uh, the alert on my phone saying, you know, about Colin doing his own workout or whatever. And so Stephen A. Smith goes on Twitter and he blasts Colin Kaepernick. Blasts him for not taking the workout that the NFL gave him. Talking about Jay-Z and this person and that person went out on a limb for him and this, that. And I'll, and I'll kind of follow him. Yeah. Right? So maybe two days later, he had uh, – Terrell Owens tweets out uh, about Stephen A. Smith and pretty much – or he texts Stephen A. Smith and he says a bunch of stuff like, you know, this is why people don't deal with you. You know, you always just spewing out your mouth and you don't know what you're talking about. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so Terrell Owens comes on to the show. Mm-hmm. And they're, you know, going back and forth. He tell, you know, Terrell Owens is telling him, like, look, man, you just, you just be talking. You know what I'm saying? And you don't realize what you're talking about. And Stephen A. Smith tries to tell this man, talking about, I'm in the streets every day. Doing what? <laughs> oh, man. Brother, I must have got so mad sitting on my couch seeing that. I'm like, you in what streets? Son. And, hey, and like and, he said, and doing like, what? It's like, I ain't doing nothing but pulling a wool over a bunch of niggas. That's why you think you can say that stuff so comfortably, man. Man, nigga, if you was in the streets, we would beat you down, brother. What is you talking about? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like you said, that's exactly what he tries to do. Yeah. Pull the wool over a simple a simple Jake's mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, he be out here, man. You know, he, he says, so, no, nah, man, don't be like his bald face ass. Mm-hmm. Don't follow his ways. Look don't like listen little, to what he's hey, talking he look about. Like a snake off of like some cartoon or something. He look like a snake. Look at his head. He definitely look like a snake off one of them little cartoons. <laughs> that is a, or a little dinosaur or like yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah, he definitely look like a little snake off one of them cartoons. You ain't lying. Yeah. And he is a damn snake. Yeah. Exactly what he is. 
get Daniel Smith. It's, it's, you think it's by chance he's the highest pl- paid employee at ESPN? Come on. Hey, you remember they came yeah, out here for saying some mess, man. I can't remember uh, what was it was concerning, but it was a couple of years, uh, probably a few years ago. They came after him, man. Came after him because he said they suspended him because he said something. I think it was about a woman or something. I think it was about beating women or something like that. Oh uh, yeah, they suspended him over that over that Ray Lewis thing. Yeah, over, yeah, 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 Ray. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. I remember that they reprimanded him. Over. He, he came, he came on uh, on the air and 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 cr- and sang a song too, boy. Like they said, like they say, it, sing us a song. Uh huh. Yep. He came on there and sang a song. Mm-hmm. He told you I was reprimanded and all, and he sang a song, brother. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And, and man, it's it's that's that. It's like that Steve Harvey joint, man. Steve Harvey, man. <laughs> he the same way. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, yes. I I can't stand him here. He and and really, man, he a, he a real cone for uh for money on another level. Yeah. Because you know he wrote that whole book uh, about talking about he wrote it for his daughters to make sure they choose the right man and you know to make sure they do this that and the other. And his damn daughter, she hopped from P Diddy. She what? She left. She hopped off of P Diddy and hopped on the future. Wait, wait, who was her daughter? Steve Harvey's daughter, Lori Harvey. Whoa, I didn't even know he had a daughter. <laughs> like, he got three. A known daughter, yeah. That's yeah, crazy. oh yeah, Lori Harvey is Lori Harvey's pretty known. You know what I'm saying? And and she was on and he ain't got no problems with it. He in the pictures with him and everything. As long as he got somebody with some money. Yeah. As long as he got somebody with some money. That's all that mattered to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And hey, that's why these that's why these coons and these jakes, man, they got to go, man. They got to go because they're leading the flock astray. That's right. That's Our right. leaders have caused us to err. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I, I, so I see her right now. I pulled her up. Oh man. Yeah. I know he... Okay. Okay. Yeah, and she was future, brother. Man. Future. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This this man is. This man is known for this man is known for notorious for not taking care of his own children. Yeah. When he got money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you and you allow that. And, and, and it all reverts back, you know, out to uh, let me let me hey, hold on, let me pull this scripture. Pull it, pull this. I just was looking at Proverbs. And it, this this goes the same way. This goes this goes to all of them. This goes to the whole discussion. This the whole discussion that we were talking about with uh with all of them with, with Kevin Hart, Steve Harvey, and 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 uh and uh the Wayne Wade. This goes to all of them right here. Uh, Proverbs twenty two and six. Mm-hmm. Train up a child in the way he should go, mm-hmm. and when he is old, he will not depart from it. You know what I'm saying? And they haven't trained their children up in, in the council of the most high. Yeah. So they have they have they had they had no foundation. That's right. They built their houses on huge stones. That's right. So now when the world got a hold of them, all of them, you know, when the world got a hold of of, of Dwayne Wade's son. And them spirits jumped on him. Now he want to be a woman. Yeah. And when the world got a hold of Steve Harvey's daughter, she becomes a hormone. Right. She wants to be. She wants to be famous. You know that goes into you know supposed to be Reverend Run's daughter Angela Simmons. Same thing. Right. You know Instagram half naked. You know, one of the, yeah, you got, you got, that's, that, and man, that goes back to the Ecclesiastes about the silver. That's right. It's vanity. She have all the money. It's not enough. She's still, she's still empty. So now she got to go be naked on TV. Yeah, man. Naked on the internet. And that's the way of, a, uh, that's the way of Esau, man. You know? Huh. Huh. Huh, man. That, 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 hey, man. Get that Hebrews, man. I gotta, I gotta get that Hebrews. Twelve, sixteen. Yeah, I gotta get that Hebrews, man. Uh, just look at Hebrews, chapter twelve and verse sixteen. 
lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, mm -hmm. who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. And that's what that's what that's what they doing. Yeah. Cause what's our birthright? To receive these wide things in the end. But for one uh, muscle of meat, we trade it in. That's right. That's right. Exactly. Con. And then I, he, I, I even got to still read 17 because this is what's going to happen to him in the end days. Come on. But you know that afterward, when he should have inherited a blessing, mm. he was rejected. That's right. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So in these, in these end times, in these last days, when the Lord come and, 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 and tear this wicked place up, that's what these wicked jakes are gonna be doing. That's right. They're that. gonna be they they're gonna be seeking for repentance, but the book will already be open. That's right. They'll be they'll be they'll be siding for it with tears, but it'll be too late. Come on. Death is at their door. I got I got a precept for you, man. And that's gonna match right with the uh with the Hebrews twelve and uh, sixteen. It's Proverbs chapter four. Verse uh, verse fourteen says, "Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men." It says in verse fifteen, "Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away." And verse uh, let's go ahead and go sixteen. It says, "For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away." Unless they cause some to fall, so that's what's that's the that's the expectation uh -huh. of the wicked, man. The uh -huh. expectation of the wicked is for you to fall, man. They are violent, like the brother brought out, like you brought out today, man. They are violent, man. It says uh -huh. verse seventeen, for they eat the bread of wickedness. Didn't it, didn't scripture say for one morsel of meat? He uh -huh. sold his birthright, right? And we become a profane like Esau. It says for they eat the bread of of the wick of wickedness. And drink the wine of violence. You see that? It says, but the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more. You see? It's going to shine more and more every day. And it says what? Until the day. Until the, until the perfect day. And what's the perfect day? You know? Pursuant to uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 9, the you know the uh uh faith and patience yeah well the same yeah he that leads us into captivity that's right that's uh. gonna be the perfect day man and like you just said the it's it's coming man you know these last days is coming and we gotta jump on board man uh, said, it, yeah go ahead bro uh, i mean if you go ahead finish it i got i got i got someone pull after you finish your thought all right it says the way of the wicked is as darkness they know not what they st they know not at what they stumble. They don't know why they keep falling. That's like so called white man finna lose all his senses and the Lord finna take over and these flying swords are finna be scattered throughout the, throughout the air, man. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a miraculous perfect time, man. Uh, anyway, uh this is a quick precept to go with you know, pretty much what we've been talking about in the whole scheme of things. Not really wanting to match exactly what you just uh brought out but it's just to go with the whole scheme of what we've been discussing this whole time you know because you know what 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 our brothers and sisters are doing is seeking to to please man right that's 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 what they want to do they want to please man they want to please the they want to please amalek at the end of the day because that's the controller of the money that's right. Um, right. so uh galatians 1 and 10 for do I know? For do I now persuade men or God, hmm. or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Yahweh, Mashiach. You know that's that's clear cut, man. If we out here trying to please men, you know, watching what we say so we can please men. Living our, tucking our fringes in so we can please men. Yeah. Calling ourselves, learning that we're Israelite, but still calling ourselves a black man to please men, to make men feel comfortable. Right? right. Knowing that these wicked holidays are wicked, mm -hmm. but still partaking in them or not speaking against them to please men, to make men feel comfortable. 
right? Then we cannot be a servant of Hamashiach. Yeah. We cannot be so we cannot be counted as worthy in that day. You know, you, you you're gonna be you're gonna walk in there without your wedding garments on. That's right. That's right. You're gonna be and what happened to the man when he walked in without his wedding garments? Hey man, hey friend, why would you have your garments? You know what I'm saying? And that's what's gonna happen to these brothers and sisters, man. That's right. It's a, it's a damn shame, man, that we we think that this is our rest and we think this is our ending place and we sought to do everything to 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 to, to, to stand in this world. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and and it's crazy because half of these so called half of these brothers and sisters are so called Christians. And they gloss over these scriptures that say things like "love not the world, neither the things that are in it." Mm-hmm. And they Yet all they do, it. all they do, is love the things in the world yeah. and the world. Well, well, is the Bible just there for us to read? Yeah. I mean, or, or is it there just for us to quote every now and then? Or what, 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 what is it there to get tattoos and all, tattoos and that's it? Come on, put it on the back of the, you know, license plates, whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that that's what these jakes do. You know, Jake want to get Jake want to get a Jake. This this what this is foolery. Hey, I got a, I, I, got a, I got a scripture for that man. If you uh, come on, bring it out. Proverbs bring that out. Practice chapter Proverbs chapter eight verse uh, thirty three. Hear instruction, right? Hear it. You know, you see, you read it. You know, hear instruction and be wise, and refuse it not. You know what I mean? You do that that you read, man. Come uh-huh. on. Be a doer, a proud doer, man. Come on, let's get that. Let me bring that out, James. Let me bring that out. Mm-hmm. Bring that out. Come on, this is uh, the book of James, chapter 1, and I'm going to start at 21. Okay. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluidity of naughtiness and receive with meekness in, gra- in the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. That's right. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any man be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. Come on, man. That's right. Come on, man. We gotta be doers of this word. It's not this. This is here. This is this. 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 The word is here for our for our learning. That's right. And so we learn and we do just just like in anything else in life, right? Mm-hmm. We learn how to walk and then we start walking. That's right. We don't learn how to walk and then keep crawling. What kind of nonsense is that? Right. So the book is here for our learning. Once we learn, we apply. You can't be on the. You can't be a baby forever. Even though half of these brothers, just, they do need to be need the milk. That's right. They they do need to stay on the breast. They need to get on. Need to get on the breast. They understand this law. Mm-hmm. But at some point, we got to be doers. That's right, man. Be you doers. know what I'm saying? Brothers want to be lukewarm, man. They want to be lukewarm. You know, even some of these brothers, out, these brothers out here, they get this too. Right. Famous people and all. You know, but they want to be lukewarm. They want to, you know, yeah, I'm is. I know I'm Israelite, but what are you doing about it? That's right. That's right. Are, are you are, are you teaching your brothers that? Are you teaching your children that? Are you teaching your women, that? Your, your, your your wife that? Are you teaching them what to do once they learn these things? That's right. Much is required of you. You know what I'm saying? Brothers don't wanna. Brothers don't wanna read, man. And after reading, they don't want. They don't want to apply. Like, and that's the biggest problem with, you know, the Christians, right? This Christians, they know that they, they can quote scriptures all day long, mm-hmm. but they're not doing. So they have no understanding. That's right. <clears throat> and the Lord gave it to us to know this, understand, man, because of all that we've been through. Huh. Book of Remembrance uh, was open 
to the to the men that spoke often one to another. You know, when that book of remembrance was open, you know, that spoke often one to another concerning the judgment of Esau, man. Look at all that we have lost. Uh, that we have lost in this captivity, man. You know, Malachi chapter 3, verse 16. Let me just go ahead and pull it. Uh. It says, It says, Your words, in verse 13, uh, Malachi chapter 3, verse 13. Your words have been stout against me, said the Lord. Yet you say, what have we spoken so much against thee? You have said, when that's, you see, they're going to say, what what we do, what we do? Man, you don't even understand, so you let your mouth move faster than what you have even uh, begun to even consider, man. You know, uh-huh. your mouth moving too quick, you don't even consider the things that you say. It says, it uh-huh. said, that's why they're going to ask that question. What have we spoken so much against you? It says, you have, it says, uh, you have said it is vain to serve your hour, and what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance. So like you were uh, saying, bro, like you're supposed to be changed through what it is that you're reading. You're supposed to be that, man. You know, you're supposed to be wise now because because you, you're reading you, wisdom. You got over the first step. You open the book and you're reading it. But now you got to do those things, man. Let that be your guide. Let that be the shining light. That's what makes you whole. That's what makes you righteous. You know, it says, uh, uh, and what profit is it that ye that we have kept this ordinance and that we have walked mournfully? That's what the Lord wants you to do is mourn. He don't want you to conform. He don't want you to say, well, you know, I just keep pushing. I just keep. Now, I know you got to endure, but you're, you're supposed to be sensitive to the things that your people uh, deal with. When you start losing sensitivity is when you start getting, uh, you know, refusing to teach the word, when you start refusing to continue to increase knowledge, when you start refusing to go out there and do your thing, right? Do what the Lord set you up to do. What ends up happening? You you start conforming. You start, you know, thinking that things are okay. It's all right. And then the Lord got to turn the fire up on you, you know? Uh-huh. And it's a pressure to get you back out uh-huh. there. You know? It's like, so, 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 it says, so, so, and, and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts. Like, they saying, what, what is it that we should walk mournfully? We're supposed to be running around here happy. We're supposed to be doing what the other nations want us to do. Like it says in Psalms 137, man. You know, we're supposed to be sitting up here singing a song. Let's sing a song and be be happy. Let's, let's, they want mirth. Let's give them mirth, right? And it says in verse 15, I mean, verse 14, you have said, or verse 15, Colossians, it says, and now we call the proud happy. You see? We delivering the so-called white man. It says, yeah, they walk, they that work wickedness are set up. Yeah, we want to have him over us. You know? It says, yeah, they that tempt Yahweh are even delivered. Yeah, let's vote. Let's vote, man. Let's let's vote one of these these uh these uh white people here. They're gonna save us, they're gonna do what we need, you know, like you said about Stephen A. It says in verse 16. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. And what is what is the record uh, the requirements to fear the Lord, man? Let's go again. Let's see. Proverbs chapter eight it says uh let me see. Verse 13, it says, uh, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. This is the prerequisite to, uh, to fear the Lord, right? To hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate, right? So you got to put those things off. So what did these men that feared, that, that, that's what the things that these men that were talking off the one to another, they feared the Lord, right? And then with that fear, it says they spake often one to another. So that's that conversation. Like it says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 21, you know, our conversation is in heaven, you know, because because heaven is going to be established on this earth by the righteous, man. And it's not here right now. The things that we speak 
it don't line up with the wicked. It don't line up with the two thirds. It don't line up with people who are on the fence, man. The ones uh. that we speak are only in heaven, man. It says, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was opened before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. That thought upon his name. What did it say? The thoughts of the wicked or what? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, 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 and, and it, it also says, uh, your thoughts are not his thoughts. Uh. Your ways are not his ways. Uh. You know? So it says, and that thought upon his name, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And it says, and they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. And in that in that day, when I make up my jewels, that perfect day, right? It says, and I will spare them as a man spares his own son that serveth him. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked. You know, them that are that 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 uh who, who are in error, you know, and those that are in the spirit, man. It says between him that serveth Yahweh. And him that serveth him not, right? You know, that book of remembrance, they spoke often one to another, right? And the Lord hearkened. You see that? The Lord, he wants you to be in conversation. He wants you to be in deep thought concerning his word. But if you ain't got nothing else, brother, you, uh, you, uh, Yeah, I ain't, I ain't got nothing else. Well, all right, brother, man. Now, hey, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor. To Yahweh by Hashem. 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 All right, brother. Shalom, right. man. Shalom.